an armed officer who was on duty at the Florida high school where 17 people were killed failed to confront the gunman during the attack. A local sheriff has said, Scott Peterson was the armed sheriff's deputy assigned to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and the only law enforcement officer present during the six-minute rampage last Wednesday, Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel said. Mr. Peterson's actions were caught on video during the massacre, and he has now resigned after being suspended without pay and placed under investigation. The massacre on Valentine's Day was the second deadliest shooting ever at a U.S. school. Nicholas Cruz, a 19-year-old former student, was later arrested and charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder, pictured, 17 victims gunned down in school massacre, A-list stars donate millions to Florida shooting victims amid gun control protests according to the sheriff. Mr. Peterson took up a position viewing one of the entrances to the school for more than four minutes after the shooting started, but he never went in. Asked what the deputy should have done, Mr. Israel said he should have went in, addressed the killer, killed the killer. He added, I am devastated, sick to my stomach. There are no words. I mean these families lost their children. We lost coaches. I've been to the funerals. I've been to the vigils. It's just, ah, there are no words. Two other deputies have also been placed on restrictive jobs for not acting on 23 calls sent to the sheriff's department during the past several years. Meanwhile, more than 1,000 people have gathered to remember a 37-year-old assistant football coach and security guard who died while helping students to safety. Aaron Fesh was remembered as a loyal friend and a hero during an emotional funeral service which saw some of his players being pallbearers. They dressed in black and maroon jerseys and came to the front of the church where 17 candles, one in honor of every victim, lined the back of the stage. Teachers were due to return to the school on Friday, but officials have confirmed that the building where the shooting happened is going to be torn down. Our new normal has yet to be defined, but we want to get back to it, geography teacher Ernest Ross Piersky said. It plans to reintroduce classes on the 28th of February. Gun control campaigners have redoubled calls for bans or further restrictions on assault rifles including a video narrated by campaigner and actress Julian Moore.